Okay, I'm here with Dave Sapel. Uh, after the bats opening day, ended up losing 11 to six, but uh, must feel pretty good just to kind of get going with the regular season. I bet. Yeah, a lot of guys today was really, I think maybe a little too over pumped up for this game, and uh, you know I think we really settled down and you know come to six in and mm -hmm. with our focus at the play, not trying to do too much, and you know. We still thought we made progress to tomorrow. You know, be a different story. Right. Um, leading up to today, how's the how's the vibe in the clubhouse been? Has it been like a like a playful vibe, or how's it been leading up to opening day? Oh, uh, it's been very playful. A lot. Of, all the guys are getting together. You know, mm -hmm. pretty good. You know, we feel like you know that happened a little quicker than we probably some of us probably thought it would. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys are are really like. You know, we're all rooting for each other, so that's always important. Right. Um, tore through the red system last year, started in single A. Um, what do you think was the biggest key to your success last year? I think it was just, you know, being consistent with what I do in the cage and with the coaches, you know, trying to keep everything the same and not trying to do too much or do too less, you know, keep a good attitude all year. Right. Right. Um, so you're, you're a career 308 batter the last for three seasons in the minor leagues. What's, uh, what's the um, main approach that you take at the plate that allows you to be so successful? Uh, different pitchers, different counts. I cut, I cut the plate in half. Mm -hmm. and, you know, either it's in or I'm going to cut it out outside. And I'm looking for certain pitches, different, certain counts. And I've been, been, been able to be very successful doing that. So I'm going to keep right. doing it until right. somebody figures it out. Okay. Um, you're a non-roster invite going into the spring, so I'm not too sure how how upset you are about not making the 40 man or anything like that. Um, you know, you know, you know how well you did. Everybody, you know, it's well documented. Were you upset at all that you didn't make the Reds? Uh, no, I guess the reason why I wasn't upset because I came in knowing no matter what I did, I you know I wouldn't make the team, mm -hmm. and knowing I was a Knowing I was a non-roster invite, that even made it made me further know no matter what I did, I wasn't going to make it. So I used that just as, you know, to, more like to, to prove that last year wasn't a fluke. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm a different hitter, different player. I think overall with my defense and my hitting was outstanding. Um, only thing I knew that I was lagging was – the uh, base running, so right. you know, I think I got a pretty good handle on what I'm doing on the bases now. I feel more comfortable. You know, I feel like I'm not gonna. I'm gonna definitely help a team more than I hurt it now. So I got to keep that going, and, right. and I'll just grow from that. What's What's the plan to continue that success going forward? Uh, it's just last year I was, you know, different coaches and guys were telling me to be aggressive. Just to, you know, you're not gonna find learn until you, to you, you know, you get thrown out or whatever so right. I was extending leads too far getting picked off I was stealing when the guy was quick to the plate getting thrown out and you know I think that's just a big chunk of the reason that uh, why my base running was so bad last year Right. you know it wasn't like I was on my own going out there just running it was you know they wanted me to be more aggressive and not just you know, go first to third. They want me to be that guy that can lead off, steal a base. And so I was pressuring myself every game to just get a bigger lead, you know, no matter how quick he is at the plate and take the base. But. Right. Uh, give me one short-term goal for this year and one long-term goal for this year that you have personally. Uh, personally, I, I want to get off to a good start here mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, get off to a good start and, play good defense, good base running, and at least, you know, make, help this team mo most I can as to being the leadoff guy, because that's my job, and improve in the leadoff role, because, right. you know, they don't, up, up there right now, they're, as was mentioned, spring training, they're still searching for the leadoff guy, so, right. you know, I got to do everything I can on my part to, to be that guy. Okay. Uh, last question. Um, got a lot of young kids out to the game tonight. You got any advice for somebody that's looking up to you, or anybody that you know, young kids that are trying to, you know, dream about becoming a big leaguer soon? Uh, it's it can be a reality, 
you know, it's not one of them things where you can talk about it. You know, it's if you really want to do it, I mean, you can do it. All you got to do is, you know, go tell your dad. You know, if you don't, if you don't have the dad around, you know, find a friend and just play with him. But, I mean, it's, it's definitely not something that, as being young, that you can't accomplish. I believe, I'm a believer that at a young age especially, if, if you put the time in, it can be, it can happen. It's, you know, I don't think it's that hard. Right. Honest. All right. Dave, I appreciate the time. All right, no problem. All right, good luck this season. All right. Thanks. Yeah.